All right. Thanks for uh, watching, everyone. This is uh, Anthony Smoka, and check me out on anthonysmoke.com or subscribe right here on YouTube. Today, we are back in Tableau. Going to show you a nice handy tip here how to conditionally format uh, a cell color for dimensions or text in Tableau. This is one of those Excel type uh, function functionalities that's that's very simple to do in Excel but very difficult to do in Tableau. So sometimes you just have to uh, figure out a way uh, to get some things done. So first thing we're going to do let's take a look at my data here. So I've got got company name and then I have a stock symbol and then I've got a rating right and the rating should be oops the rating should be buy, sell, hold, right? Your classic kind of uh, uh, analyst rating for stocks here. And what I want to do is conditionally color uh, the sell background based upon whether it's buy, sell, or hold, right? Very simple to do for measures. Um, you know, you can look on the internet and find all sorts of tips on how to uh, color measures. If I drag uh, this sale up here to colors, it has no effect on the rating, right? Um, because it's it's over here in this area where the marks are, right? So we want to color the rating. So let me show you how you do that. You're going to create a calculated field, and I like to call it one, and it has a value of one, right? These are placeholder uh, calculations here. Um, I'm going to call this zero, and it has a value of one. It doesn't matter what I put in here, really. So I've got this one zero. So this is the 10 technique, which I call it. So you drag a one up here, drag a zero, right? As you can see, I've got uh, kind of two, uh, two uh, measure areas here where marks uh, would go. And so on, always remember, make sure you're on the correct marks card. On my one, I like to place color. So what you're going to do, you're going to create a, a uh, calculated field. Go up here, create calculated field. I already have it uh, pre-created. And this is what I call the ratings calc. Let's take a look at it. If my rating is buy, then you know put green. Else, if if the rating is sell, and put red. Now these aren't going to actually affect the color. We have to change those manually. They're just a, a description for now. You're going to end and say OK. So this is my rating calculation. We're going to drag that over here to color, and the colors change, right? And you know we can we can edit the colors uh, for null. Let's double click, get white in there. Say OK. For green, we can just pick a green. For red, we'll leave it as red. I know red and green, not the best for our colorblind uh, watchers here, but uh, for the sake of time, we're just going to go with that. So as you can see, uh, this is lining up. The buy has green, the sell has red. Uh, over here, we still have this guy left, right? So we're going to go over here to the zero. We're going to go to the marks card. This is where our text is going to go. So we've got our rating. Let's bring this guy over to uh, label. Make sure this is text. Right, that changes. And oh, let's go back up here really quick. This is very important. Make sure this is hard coded as, as a square and make sure the size is all the way out, right? So that way it doesn't change uh, if you do something else in the viz, right? So we've got these two. How do we bring them together? We're going to go up here and call this a dual axis. Everything comes together, right? Looking good so far. And you know we're gonna want to have to get rid of these uh, pesky. Um, we have to format the axis here. We're gonna call that blank. Go to the tick marks. Click none. That goes away. We're gonna do the same thing here, except this is our uh, rating. Rating. Tick marks. None. Right, so we've got that, and we can play around, you know, just just play around with this to, to get it lined up. Your mileage may vary, just format it however you like. We can size this a little bit. I like to actually go up here to a format and cell size and go taller, right? That kind of fleshes it out uh, a little bit. You can bring that in, and there you go. We have that formatted based upon whether it's buy, uh, sell, or hold, right? And one more thing, yeah. Let's let's go ahead and hide the rating, right? Let's we don't we don't need to show that, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat the same process for another field just to show you. You can keep doing this for as many 
uh, feels as you well there is a limit but <laughs> you can add multiple so we'll just do the same thing on sector and as you can see I get two new uh, values down here it's some one two some zero two uh, on my marks card again my one I always want to make sure let's see that's square and make sure that size is all the way out my ones always have the color I have a sector uh, calc here oops sector calc edit if the sectors finance make it blue sector equal finance then blue say okay let's bring that over here to the color and I'm gonna go down here to uh, to the label let's bring the actual sector put that on the label make sure that is text All right and same as before dual axis and now we're just back in the formatting game get rid of uh, your title here go to the tick marks make sure there's nothing there go up here Oops, we want to edit uh, our axis. So we're going to call this sector. Tick marks, none. Say OK. And I'm actually going to bring sector in here. Uh, I'd like to just bring it in, make sure the show header, if it was selected, unselect it. So that way you don't run into problems if I go down here to um, Aegon, as you can see. Uh, let me do this first. Let's drag this guy over. As you can see with Aegon, sounds very uh, Targaryen there, but it's actually a life insurance company. It has multiple symbols. And, um, you know, if you don't bring in these headers and not show them, you'll have issues uh, with, uh, with the formatting. So make sure you bring those in and just hide. Bring those in and uh, uncheck show header and you won't have any problems with these being colored uh, in this situation so there you go there is your tableau uh, tip of the day very handy when you have to try and get some excel type functionality uh, into tableau go ahead and take this tip and get out there and do some great things with your data so this has been anthony smoke thanks for watching everyone